Welcome back to New Tech Tutorials. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while here since we last brought you a tutorial, but uh, today we're going to be focusing on something inside of After Effects, which I'm sure many of you have experience with or are interested in learning about, and that is how to create uh, and give your After Effects comps more, more control, so kind of moving in the direction of creating your own template. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create an easy way for us to start building a template that we could either put on our YouTube channel and it's something that we're selling or something that we can save later and repurpose. Let's say you're in real estate video or some other industry and you want to use your design but reapply it to a new brand, a new color scheme, a new logo. Um, this, is gonna, this is kind of a good starter of how to understand how that process works. So what I've done is I've just made a really simple scene here. Um, I've got just a background solid, I call it background. Um, I've got my square, circle, and star. So I don't think I need to show you how to do that, but uh, just go ahead and name these things um, in advance. Make sure that we're doing a good job of naming everything. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a null object. And this is what we're gonna use to control the colors of everything in our scene. So. I'm going to rename this as my color controller. You know, you could probably just name it control, but let's keep it really clear for this tutorial. Okay, so with my color controller selected, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go under effect, expression controls, and I'm going to add a color control. And we're just going to do this the number of times that we have layers that we want to control. So in this case, we have four and then we're gonna rename them each. So my first one will be my background. My second one's gonna be that square. And you get the picture here, circle and star, okay? Next up, we're gonna have to add a fill color to uh, all of our items below the color controller. So I'm just gonna go over here, I already have fill filled out but just type fill in effects and presets and you'll see the generate fill and we're just going to plop this on top of every one of our objects you'll notice the default color is the reds so the background is going to make it go all red that's fine let's go back to our color controller now and what we're going to do is let's just change these colors right now to something arbitrary nothing's going to happen but let's just say i want to do a blue background and then I'm going to change all my, my little uh, objects to, to white. Now to make this easier, what you're going to want to do now is this screen, we're going to lock this screen so this, we, we show this view as we do this. And we're going to come down to our first item here being background, hit the drop down arrow, go in under effects and under fill, and next to color what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt on the keyboard and we're going to click so that we can get our little pickwick here and our different expressions we can get. You can see there's a whole menu here of expressions that's, that really can, you, know, you can adapt to make a very uh, you know high functioning template. Um, but in this case, we all we need to do is grab the pickwick, which if you're not familiar, this is what you drag and attach to other things to let them control them. And we're just gonna click and drag this up to color and release. And if nothing happens, just click, and you're gonna see that color show up. So we're just gonna repeat the process here. Again, I'm just clicking Alt, drag, boom. Alt, drag, and then our star is our last one here. So let's drag that up to the star. So now, you'll see that we have this expression this little bit of uh, you know I guess Python showing up here next to all of these and this just allows you to let's say you want to come back and repurpose this later or these were pre comp logos now you can just quickly come up here and I can change the background color to my scene and all the colors very quickly you don't have to 
dive into each of those things and mess around. Um, obviously this doesn't save you a ton of time because you're just changing color, but as we get deeper into some of these expression controls and you see how these work with our actual animations or creating different menu options, uh, you'll start to see um, how powerful this is. So this is kind of an introduction to using expressions and creating your own After Effects templates. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more tutorials.